Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you a new game template from Flippity.net, one of my favorite places to find all kinds of cool Google Sheets templates. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. The new template is called the Connecto Game, and here's a little demo of how the game is played. So over here on the right-hand side, we can set up the number of cells that we want to have here appear on the screen. Let's just do a simple four by four. So I've chosen four by four on the right-hand side. Now what will happen is whenever I click on one of these cells, a question will pop up and we can answer that question. Now the game is designed to be played in a classroom with two players or two teams and a teacher serving as the official or the moderator for the game to award the spaces on the board. So for example here, let's say that team number one decides they want to start right here with this space. As a teacher, I'll click on that question and say, which American president appears on the $1 bill? And let's say our students answer this correctly, George Washington, well, we'll award that space right there. Then we can do another one here, another team or another player could take their turn. Which country produces the most coffee in the world? I don't know. Brazil, let's say that they, the team that tried to answer that got that wrong. They can do it that way. And here, let's say, what does hippopotamus mean? If we click that center space, it's not awarded to anybody. And we can just click on that space again, and another question is randomly generated. And the idea, obviously, is to have four cells connected with your game marker. Now, those game markers, you can customize in the spreadsheet that Flippity provides. So let's take a look at the template and we'll make a copy. So let's make a copy into my Google Sheets account. And we can see all these questions here and we could swap out any of these questions and any of the answers that we want to. Okay. So we could you know, change out this question here and say which American president appears on the $1 bill. We could swap it out for the $10 bill or the $5 bill. And let's say $5 bill. And we can replace it with Lincoln. Helps to spell it correctly. And you can see here, we can put in an image. Now to put in an image, we're going to have to link to an image that's online somewhere and publicly available. And of course, one that we have the rights to use that's either in the public domain or Creative Commons licensed. Let's say you need a picture of Abraham Lincoln. A good place to find that is right on Wikipedia. And we'll find that picture there. And I will bet that this picture is in the public domain. Let's click on the details for it. And sure enough, it is. Let's right click, copy that image address. And now we'll put that as the link in that space. And now we have the image of Lincoln as opposed to the image of George Washington. Now, down here at the bottom, we see a tab for options. And we'll see here, we can set the initial grid. So we can set it to be a default of four by four instead of the default of seven by six. We can have gravity turned on or off. We'll leave it turned off. Okay? If it's turned on, all the markers go to the bottom of the screen. You can see here, these are the default markers we can see we have checker red, checker black, and checker blank. Let's say I want to change these out. And instead of using the default checkers, well, I want to use a picture of a cat and a picture of a dog. So I went to Pixabay, and on Pixabay you'll find tons of pictures that are available for free that are in the public domain. And I'm going to go and get the smallest resolution of that one. Hit the view button. 
I'm gonna right click and copy the image address. I'm gonna put that in as a player one marker. And I'll do the same thing where I found this picture of a cat. I'm now going to right click the image address, copy image address. Let's place that. And now we have player one represented by a dog and player two represented by a cat. Now we need to go to get the link here, the bottom tab, and let's publish this to the web. And now we have a link directly to our game board and we'll see it launches right into the four by four format, but we still have the option for seven by six, six by five, et cetera. Let's click on one of these cells. Where did the pineapple plant originate? And we can now say, oh, the dog gets it, the cat gets it, or click on the blank and it goes back into the rotation. And here's our picture of the dog. And now the dog is marking that space. And over here, let's say the cat got that one right. And the cat is there as the marker now. So that's the Flippity Connecto template. Could be a great template to use for hosting a review game in your classroom or in an online classroom environment. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetech4teachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.